Hi, Guy here from WeatherTech Roofing. Hey, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about history. Um, and the funny thing is, I really haven't read these in a while. So, um, we have our contractor's licenses here. This is my contractor's license. And it was issued in August 16th of 1983. But uh, you want to go back in history, here's my grandfather's roofing license. And it was issued August 8th of 1938. Um, licensed contractor is important because, you know, you know that you have somebody that's in the industry and that that is what they do. A contractor's license is issued to a general contractor. General contractor is like an orchestra leader. He makes the contract and he does multiple jobs for you. He really is not supposed to do just one trade. If you need a specialty contractor like a plumber or electrician or a roofing contractor, you hire that licensed contractor, like a roofing contractor is a C39, a building contractor is a B1. So you're best off to stick with the licensed contractor for the trade that he's licensed for. Um, you wouldn't want your gardener to come in and fix your uh, light switch, it might burn down your house. Um, it's very important, stick with trades and make sure they're a licensed contractor. Um, licensed and bonded, the bond, it basically just protects you. If you give him money down and he disappears, you can get your money back through his bond. Other than that, a bond is no guarantee of any efficiency or trustworthiness. Um, they should have general liability insurance that protects you in your home from any damage he might do or third party injury. Um, just like you wouldn't lend me your car to drive to Las Vegas for a week and back without me being on your insurance. Why would you allow somebody on your roof without insurance? Because if they fall, get hurt, create property damage, and they don't have liability insurance, you're footing the bill. And uh, it's not something you want. So when you hire a contractor, make sure he's licensed, bonded, and insured. Not just they state they're insured, because they have to have workman's comp. Workman's comp is for the employee. You wanna make sure they have general liability insurance to protect you and your property and your assets so that you're not paying the bill for the damage that may be caused. Um, we have uh, different associations, National Roofing Contractors Association, largest roofing contractors association in the country. Uh, preferred contractor certification for manufacturers that basically says, we know what we're doing. They're going to stand behind us in the warranty. Uh, if somebody gives you a warranty that's beyond three years, you're out to lunch if you need service from them in four years and they don't respond because it becomes a civil action. You have to file a suit against them to get action. When you're dealing with a certified contractor, any warranty beyond three years is usually covered by the manufacturer. We have other certifications where our employees themselves get certified for their applications, that they know what they're doing, they know their trade, and they know the application of the material. It's all very important that that roof's installed properly for the manufacturer to stand behind it. So, just a little information so that you all know, when you hire a professional, he should have some kind of documentation saying he's a professional and he knows what he's doing. But key number one point, make sure they have general liability insurance just for your own protection. Because I don't think you'd want the neighbor kid hopping in your car and driving down the street and wrecking it because you know who would be responsible for the bill. Okay? So if you have any other questions, give us a call here at WeatherTech Roofing at 951-929-0557 or check us out on the, the web at weathertightroofing.com. All right, thank you very much and have a good weekend.